What's up, folks? Happy Sunday. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Um, welcome back to our playlist, our project, The Historical Christ, Fact or Fake. And we are looking purely at secular and hostile sources, independent attestation during the time of Christ um, to see what the historical record has to say. And so th today the person of interest is Cornelius Tacitus, um, one of the earliest accounts. Um, Tacitus lived between 56 A.D. to 120 A.D. And we know he died sometime after 117 A.D. Uh, but he was a prolific writer. He worked in law. He was a politician, an aristocrat. And he was the governor of the Roman, pro Roman, the Roman province of Asia. Uh, which is the westernmost part of Turkey. And uh, so Tacitus, being a really good writer, um, was also a, his a historian and put his writing skills to use. And uh, his work, the annals um, of history, has come down to us, not in, in full, but in part. And so some of the content um, in his historical work, in, in, the, book, in the annals, um, deals with Jesus, Christians, and the Christian movement. And so his recollection um, of Jesus is what we're considering today. And this is, what, this is what Tacitus has to say. And I want to give you just a bit of context. Um, he's talking about the fire that broke out in Rome in 64 AD. Uh, this was during the, the reign of Nero. And so Nero was a... A Caesar of infamy, uh, to say the least. But anyway, this great fire happened in Rome under Nero's watch, and he needed someone to blame. Um, so to just sort of um, quench the public outcry, he blamed Christians and start, started persecuting Christians. But anyway, this is what Tacitus has to say um, about the incident. And, um, and so he, it reads like this. Therefore, to quench the rumor, Nero created scapegoats and subjected to the most refined tortures those whom the common people called Christians hated for their abominable crimes. Their name comes from Christ, who, during the reign of Tiberius Caesar, had been executed by our procurator Pontius Pilate. Suppressed for the moment, the deadly superstition broke out again, not only in Judea, the land which originated this evil, but also in the city of Rome, where all sorts of horrendous and shameful practices find their core and are fervently cultivated. Now, what can we deduce from what Tacitus um, just said? Um, first, uh, we see that uh, Pontius Pilate was indeed a governor, was the governor of Judea during the time, and that he signed off on the execution of Jesus. Um, Tacitus mentions the procurator Pilate um, was the one who endorsed um, murder by the state uh, for, for uh, Christ. And so he, we also deduce uh, from this passage that the Christian faith was originally birthed in Judea, but then it spread like wildfire, even as far as Rome, uh, where Tacitus says all things evil and shameful just sort of warm their way into Rome. Uh, they find their center in Rome. And so, so we, we, we also see from Tacitus' words that the Christian movement was significant enough to be pushed back on. Uh, that is to say, it was um, big enough, large enough, that um, Rome felt like it had to be dealt with. And obviously we've seen that that was during the reign of Nero um, in the mid-60s AD. And so this would be of value to us because, like I said, this is a very early... Um, very early source, um, independent attestation. Tacitus, obviously um, not favorable toward Christians, 
um, recognizes their leader, recognizes that the state executed this man whom they worshipped. Um, he calls the whole movement a superstition, which um, the word superstition could refer to the resurrection belief Christians have in the resurrection, uh, but we're not sure about that. Uh, but we know that he was not favorable toward the Christians and toward Christ. And he goes to explain that, you know, at one time, the, these people were, were dealt with sort of severely. Uh, Nero, uh, sort of underhandedly, uh, dealt with them, blamed them for a fire that happened under his watch. And uh, so taking the blame off of him, placed it on the Christians. Uh, they were hated by Rome anyway. And uh, Nero would begin to uh, torture them in just all sorts of ways, strapping um, animal furs to, around them and feeding them to lions and wild dogs and Colosseum. And then these great venues, uh, he would also uh, post, he would also uh, post Christians on stakes and light them on fire as sort of candles for the night. Uh, you could walk the streets of Rome and there would be these posts holding up Christians tied down to them, um, lit completely on fire. And so he would use uh, Christians as, as uh, street lamps, uh, so to speak. Um, so that is Cornelius Tacitus. I will leave some uh, citations and references in the description and also other places you can go uh, to check into this further. Uh, but thank you for stopping by and considering... Uh, this first piece of evidence for the historical Jesus, uh, Cornelius Tacitus, and stay tuned next time for Pliny the Younger, who was a contemporary of Cornelius Tacitus, a fellow governor himself, and so we will check out to see what Pliny has to say, and he's a very interesting character indeed. Uh, I think you'll want to stick around. Um, God bless. We'll see you back here next time, and uh, have a good rest of your Sunday.